Hello, this is Mr. Umi1974, and today we are going to be talking about Feed to Beast troubleshooting. One of the big problems that's going on right now is the fact that Feed the Beast won't update. The solution to this is that you go to the Feed the Beast website, download a new version of your EXE and then replace your current um, EXE file. So it's pretty much easy as that. I'll grab this one real quick. Oops, wrong one. Go to my downloads, grab my launcher, copy that one. Go to my other, p where I have the launcher installed. Whoops, wrong one. Oh, just grab my shortcut here. Go to where I have the launcher installed and paste the new launcher over it. Copy and replace, and voila. Your update problem should be fixed. Um, then just basically launch, launch your... Uh, Feed the beast, and it should connect, and you should have no real issues with it. You won't get your update message. Um, program the launcher's just to release. So we're going we got to deal with some bugs. I guess that's just one of the bugs where it just doesn't want to update, or it may not like to update into weird installs. Uh, couldn't tell you. The other thing is that people are not getting the right mod pack or or getting an incomplete mod pack. Uh, just make sure when you're on the mods tab you've got the one that you want selected. Like here, this is the Feed the Beast test pack. This is the retro pack. If you want to play with the new stuff, you want the test pa the beta pack A. Now there is something that I want to show you about that. Okay, this is the folder that the beta pack A is installed. If I was to select, let's say, the voxel pack here, and I want to launch this one, I'm going to put my password in. Click Submit. Okay, it's going to create a new folder for every single mod pack that you download and install. Okay. As we can see, this one's downloading and installing. Now, so, I'm just going to close out of that and see what it does. It's going to launch. If you close out of that, and you launch the game and you don't see FML which is version something or other that means your f uh, Forge mod loader didn't install and how you fix that is either delete the the mod pack you just installed and I'll just pull up the screen so you can see what I'm talking about here uh, where went my launcher I'm going to close this reopen my launcher okay select one mod pack that I know I do have installed which is the beta pack and do my launch there oops mistype my login uh, try that again Okay, now this one should be all ready to go. Has mod loader, uh, Forge mod loader installed, all the mods installed. So it's just doing its startup. You should have, if you don't have this information down in the corner here, this is how you fix it. Like I didn't have when I had loaded the Vexel mod pack. Okay, I'm closing that, relaunching the mod loader, click run. 
Okay, go to your options tab. Click force update. Go back to your mod packs. Select the mod pack that you want and then relaunch the game. And this is going to basically and I'm just not having a whole lot of luck with my uh, passwords here today. This is going to re-download the mod pack, the mod launcher, and everything. So you should get all the uh, mod loader stuff. All the add-ons. I'm assuming that the voxel the voxel mod pack uses forge mod loader. Oop. Yeah. It uses something, but as you can see, this is not something we had before when we downloaded the uh um voxel pack. Uh, so I'm just going as you can see the whole front page changed. So, yeah, that's how you, if your mods don't seem to be loading that's how you fix it I'm gonna get out of this real quick and relaunch mod loader the feed the beast mod launcher again now they did add a few maps um, in order to install the maps you need to have that specific uh, client installed or you should have that specific client installed. So if you wanted to play these two maps that were added, you need to go back to the mod pack and do the retro pack only. Now, there was one other little troubleshooting issue that people were having, and it had to do with uh, logins. My login, they're basically, their logins weren't working. If your login isn't working, open up and test it in the uh, normal Minecraft. And the reason is they're basically using the same login that the login the Minecraft launcher is using. Because they're they're basically going saying, hey Mojang, is this a valid Minecraft account? And if Mojang says yes, they'll launch the game for you. Um, so that's what, so if you're having problems with your login check the minecraft launcher they're doing this so people that haven't paid for the game have to in order to use the mods have to pay for the game uh, and besides we want to see mojane uh, get the money that's rightly deserved so they can continue to support minecraft and put out new things for it so yeah uh, that's about it for troubleshooting tips. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If this helped you, give it a like. Um, and, uh, everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.